Hey guys, Lucas here from the Musashi Voice, and today we are starting a new series. It is called Training to Look Like Baki. It is very much a passion project of mine, and I'm hoping you guys are interested in it. Either way, I'm going to keep doing this because I want to show my progression to getting bigger. So basically, I'll, I'll tell you guys what is this, why am I doing this, and everything about me and my fitness journey. So basically, the whole point of this series is as the title explains basically, I am training to look like Baki. I understand to look like Baki is kind of unrealistic because look at this dude, he's like 3% body fat, perfectly body, perfect body composition and everything. He looks amazing. So obviously, I won't look exactly like Baki, but I would love to get as close as humanly possible. And a lot of the things he does coincides with what I enjoy. I love watching MMA. I love boxing and just like practicing all this different stuff so i feel like it would be an awesome just challenge for myself to see both martial arts wise and fitness wise and aesthetically how far can i push myself and i want to catalog it with you guys weekly i want to post this every single week hopefully every wednesday or thursday something like that and uh, you guys get to see my journey so i want to start off with what my past and fitness was Basically, I started off as a young kid playing baseball, track, I did a little wrestling, all sorts of different things. And I really loved baseball, I was extremely good at it, I was good at track, but none of those things necessarily clicked with me because I didn't like competition as a kid. I liked the playing of the sport, but the actual competition level of it, I, it didn't click until I got older, until I was 18 and I was already a senior, that's the only time when competition was finally clicking for me. So it came a little late for me. But going back, throughout high school, I was skinny, right? I was 5'11", 6 foot in that range. Um, well, I guess 5'10", to 6 foot. And I was 135. And by the end of high school, I was weighing in the, at about 145 pounds. So for a 6 foot tall person, that's pretty thin. And I just knew I was done and tired of people telling me, you're weak, you're skinny. You're skinny, bro. Hey, you better lift some weights, man. You're skinny as hell. I'm not worried about you. The next day. Bing bong. Those comments really drove me. And there might be people watching, you know, who feel the exact same way. And I just want to say, like, use it. Use that doubt as fuel for you. Because I definitely used it as doubt and or as fuel. And it pushed me to then get to where I am now. I am now 177 pounds, more or less, you know, obviously a water weight. You know, I could be close to 180 one day and I could be close to 175 one day. But I'm generally between 175 and 180 most days when I wake up in the morning, I weigh around 177. And I am six foot tall. So I have gained a good amount of weight and I'm very proud of what I've done in, in myself. But there's so much more I wanna do. So my major goals are number one, I want to reach 185 pounds cut. So maybe the first time around, I won't be perfectly cut, but right now I'm 177. All of winter, all the way until like late spring, I'm going to be bulking and just trying to get bigger. And basically I want to hit 185 or 190 and then cut down. And when I cut down, I expect that by the end of this whole process, when we hit summer, I'm going to be 180. That is my expectation because I don't want to just keep getting bulkier and bulkier and bulkier and never cut. I like to stay kind of lean. I'm not perfectly lean at this moment, but I like to to not feel too pudgy or anything because I I honestly get self-conscious. You know, when you're thin your whole life and then you can easily see your abs, when that starts going away, you're like, oh, oh no, no, this is my identity. <laughs> Like that's what all I had, I, you know, when I was thin, that's all I had. I had my ability to be thin and see my abs be cut. That's all I had going for me. And now, you know, it's hard to let that go when you're bulky, but we're going to try it. And we're going to try to get to you hopefully 185 to 190 by spring. And then we're going to cut down back to 180. And it's gonna be nice. I think I'm gonna look pretty nice. You guys are gonna be happy with the results. And so how am I gonna get here? Basically, I need to eat, what is it? Like 3,300 calories a day. I need to eat basically a gram of protein per pound of, mu of muscle. 
I'm gonna just eat straight up 200 grams of protein, um, a little, just a little bit over what most people recommend, and I'm going to try my best to eat as much as possible. My whole life, I hated eating. Like my parents really instilled in me, when you're when you're full, stop eating. And whether that's a good thing or for my or to the detriment of me, that's how I live my life. So that's what I'm battling right now. The hardest part for me is eating. So many times I've hit 175 or 180. I think the highest I've gotten is 182. And many times, whether it's because of sickness, whether it's just taking care of people, whether it's because I got lazy, I didn't want to eat anymore, I would fall, right? If I didn't want to eat, maybe I'd fall five pounds over the span of a couple of weeks. I was taking care of some people, fall 10 pounds. Oh, I got sick, fall five or 10 pounds. It because I was sick for two or three weeks because it was a, a major sickness. Like those setbacks hurt, but I can't let that stop me. And you shouldn't let any of that stuff stop you guys either. You shouldn't let any of the people talking or any of the circumstances of your life stop you from what you truly want in life. And this is what I truly want. I want to be stronger, faster, more flexible, more cardio, more skilled. This is what I want. And how I'm gonna do it is number one, a good training program. So I follow Ryan Humpson's program and he is great, I think, for building size because that's, that's his whole thing. It's just building size and some strength, but mostly size. And I've noticed his programs fully fall into that. It's lots of volume. It's lots of, you know, just, just ways of creating lots of pump and lots of stress on the muscle that cause growth. So that's great. I would highly recommend you check out his programs. His programs are cheap and just excellent. Number two, I am focusing on functional fitness a little bit, you know, just adding that on top of there so that I still do have a level of cardio, I still do have a level of strength and dynamic movement so that when I am practicing boxing, you know, kickboxing or grappling or whatever, that I can transition over more smoothly because eventually I will hit my size, whether I end up liking how I like a 185 or maybe I want to be 195, whatever I feel great at, and when I stop there, I'm going to transition how I train into MMA training or boxing training or whatever, right? Problem, most likely just MMA training and just go to an MMA gym around me. But first I want to build up my body before I do that and just do just very basic training here at my house. So now you guys know my goals. You guys now know I want to reach 185 and if I want to be bigger, I'll then push for 195. I want to have a functional, nice, flexible body and I want to learn MMA in just martial arts in general because I find that so fascinating. And so basically that's what this these videos are about. It's about me showing you when I'm eating, how I'm meal prepping, what workouts am I doing, how am I feeling, and just cataloging it both for myself because I came this far and I would have loved to have cataloged myself from 135 or 145 to 175, 177, right? That would have been a really nice Especially since that was like the bulk of my of my growth. I would have loved to have done that, but I didn't. So I'm not gonna let that pass me up in this second half of my journey. And so I want you guys along the journey. I wanna see myself and you know, I'll show you guys what my gym looks like. I'm sorry it's messy, but you know, it's a gym in a garage where it also we keep stuff in here. And I'm sorry that the video quality isn't the best. I'm gonna be getting some better ring lights and you know something to, to hold my camera because right now I'm just having stacked on a bunch of boxes but I'll show you around the gym real quick. Lucas from the future like comment subscribe we need to get to 100 I appreciate you guys so much and comment down below your journey I want to hear your journey please tell me what's going on with you guys and what you want from this content every single week that you guys will be receiving please comment down below. So this is basically my cable machine. This is where I can do all my cable workouts and just, you know, obviously I just add some weight and I can do whatever I want. I can do some pull downs, I can do some curls, I can do some tricep extensions, whatever I need. It's extremely nice and I'm so happy to have it. Me and my dad split the cost on it and it's definitely been worth it. And you can see the little thing of boxes I've stacked my dinky little tripod onto to film with my phone. I also have a full rack and everything. I got a, a normal barbell right there. This one to keep form better on bench press and all these different weights and some dumbbells that I can switch the weights on. Yeah, I, this is great for me to use for whatever, right? It's all the compound lifts, I can do them all and yeah. 
So a good example would be of me doing this workout, obviously with better lighting soon, and basically showing you guys what I'm doing. Like right now, I am doing a leg extension. I'm doing a 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 leg extension. Yes, that's right. And that's the beginning of my leg workout. And then I can kind of speed through it and I can show you how I'm feeling afterwards and how crazy it was and all this different stuff. Thank you for watching the video. I have lots of other stuff to show you eventually. I got a trap bar, deadlifts. I have, you know, some bands, like all sorts of different stuff that you'll be seeing over the, the following videos. You'll be seeing me making food. You'll see all sorts of, of great stuff. And I'll let you guys just know what I'm doing. And yeah, I, I appreciate everyone watching. Please like, please subscribe. 80% of the people watching aren't subscribed. We need to get to 100. It would be so great if we got to 100. I'd really appreciate that. And, Please come back for more. I'm going to be posting this every Wednesday or Thursday, somewhere along those lines. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what you think, what your journey is like, what your situation is. I honestly want to hear. I love hearing other people's situations, you know, with their fitness and what you guys want from this content. So, yeah.